Hey folks, here are OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Aura Master. This is an LED light which mimics the effect of waves on an ocean and it changes different colors, rotates. It also has a built-in speaker which you can use to play back your favorite movies as well as your songs by connecting it into an MP3 player or a cell phone. It uses a standard 3.5 millimeter jack. This device sells on Amazon for about 25 bucks, which isn't too expensive. It's kind of similar to the laser projector we showed you guys a few weeks back uh, and goes with the same kind of product category. The box here is pretty simple. It's just made out of Shenzhen, China. Uh, there's some basic info on the sides. It takes both batteries or you can use a charger. Uh, it takes a proprietary port to charge a unit and plug it into the wall. Batteries are not included, but you can use it if you don't want to have it plugged in. There's also the top, which kind of acts as the screen or the projection for uh, making the lights go off the walls and creating that effect. Volume controls dedicated on off switches are on the bottom there and some basic info on the sides including uh, safety, LEDs should last for quite a while. There's some basic info about the unit in the box itself. We have access just to the light which we'll take a closer look at in a moment. There's also the aforementioned DC power cable which is slightly on the shorter side of the spectrum. It plugs into a USB socket so you can also use it with a computer but it comes with this wall plug as part of the package and also includes the 3.5mm standard auxiliary cable for connecting it onto an audio source like your phone or an mp3 player along with a user manual printed in both Chinese as well as English. So taking a closer look at the design of the actual Aurora Master light and speaker first, it's made uh, basically out of plastic so it isn't the most rugged thing in the world. It's definitely not waterproof so if you plan on using this outside, perhaps for parties or for Christmas or a special holiday, just know that if the weather isn't so hot then probably should take it indoors and stop using it. Otherwise you can see on the inside we have the LED array which uh, flashes and strobes and there's also this interesting mechanism which tilts this uh, rippling uh, glass or prism on top of the lights and that creates the the uh, effect. It's kind of like a kaleidoscope and it spins around as well. And certainly see that in the demo that we'll show you in a moment. Otherwise you have the uh, name of the unit stamped on the front and the bottom features access to the three controls. The center key dubs as the power on off switch. You can also tap on it to cycle through the various modes such as flashing multiple colors, flashing only a certain color, strobing or fading away through the different colors, so on and so forth. You can also control the volume on the sides. These buttons are pretty tactile and responsive. The back features access to the proprietary charging port and also the 3.5 millimeter uh, input for the audio. You can find access to the mono speaker on the back. So it is not a stereo speaker and it's not front uh, blasting either, which is a bit of a con. But in the back, you have access to the battery compartment. It takes AA batteries, but you need a screwdriver to remove that. And otherwise, it sits pretty firmly on a desk or surface. So overall, I would say this is definitely more of a lighting piece uh, rather than you know a speaker first. It really prioritizes that light and effect. Uh, the speaker is not bad, but it's slightly on the tinier side of the spectrum. We'll give you guys a sample soon. Uh, but again, it's focused in the back. It's not stereo speakers, and it isn't a wireless speaker either. So you can't just use Bluetooth, uh, but you can always purchase an adapter and add that functionality yourself. So next we're going to do a quick demo of what the unit looks like when you have it plugged into power. I'm going to go through the first the sound quality and then the light effect. After plugging things in you can see there's an LED light which should be green on the power supply and you can see that the default mode first is off. Even if you have a device plugged in, we have a uh, phone plugged in with the music loaded, you'll see that there's actually no sound coming out of the speaker. To actually start playing back the music you need to have the light turned on as well. So Let's tap on the play key with the song, and then tap on the on key here. Let's turn up the volume as well by using the onboard controls. So this gives you guys a quick glimpse at how uh, the unit operates. And I have to say again that the speaker itself isn't the most powerful that, of course, we've seen. It's a little bit on the tinier side of the spectrum, even though uh, it does have a bit of bass, which is actually a bit surprising. I thought it would be uh, weaker, but overall not a terrible speaker. You can definitely listen to pop music, electronic music just fine. Of course, we would have preferred a stereo speaker, and we have preferred uh, the actual speaker for us to be on the front as opposed to on the back when the light is on. But not bad. If you're in a party environment, uh, if you have it in the house, it's definitely going to fill up the space of the room. And it's certainly better than the speaker on any cell phone or an MP3 player. So I 
step forward in that sense. All right, so taking a quick look at the overall light next, you can see that uh, the LEDs have already started to kind of flash as well as uh, spin just because of the tilting motion of the prism on the inside. You can kind of see that that's what creates the waves and the rippling effect, hence the name of the product, the Aurora Master. Um, you can see that uh, otherwise there is a gear that's spinning on the sides there that helps the prism actually rotate. And overall, if you see it against a wall, it creates a pretty compelling effect. It definitely reminds us of the light you might see from uh, an ocean or maybe light shined on a swimming pool gets that same effect. It does mimic water rather well. Tapping on the center key a few times goes through the various modes. This is the only red colored one. Kind of also fades into the various other colors slowly. Over here now we have just one color. Another one which really quickly goes through and flashes through the colors. And now we have just these separate lights, the three primary colors, and then of course the fourth mode is turning everything off, and then the speaker goes off as well. So that's how it uh, basically works. Now we're going to turn off all the lights in the room and just give you guys a pretty silent demo of uh, the light show effect. With the lights turned off, you can see that the light itself does a pretty good job of casting this uh, pattern in shadow. Uh, of course, as you stretch the distance, such as from the ceiling to the light source, it becomes weaker. Uh, it's not as strong as a laser projector or a laser beam, it's still just a regular LED, but it's still pretty bright. And again, in a smaller room, you can still see it uh, from the various walls and it kind of bounces off uh, mirrored surfaces. So it casts a pretty nice glow against the walls uh, and creates this rather dazzling uh, light show effect. So it definitely does work. At the end of the day, the Aurora Master might not be the best speaker in the world, but it does make for a rather compelling and unique light show. You can check out more details about this unit in our official written review. But this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Review.